nation in the recent past. Let's just take a look at some graphics there. And of course, uh, the government had, uh, you know, declared some, you know, safety measures, but uh, questions, of course, uh, you know, still rise about them being followed. As you can see right there on your screens, um, the 2008 Safety Standards Manual for Kenyan Schools, was the, first of all, the dormitory design, just beds in the dormitory must be spaced at least 1.2 meters apart to allow for safe movement. Also, as you can see, the dormitories, uh, dormitory corridors should be a minimum of two meters wide to facilitate evacuation during emergencies like the one we just witnessed uh, today in Nyeri County. So that is just part of the safety standards manual for the Kenyan schools. Um, uh, of course, uh, questions abound about them being actually followed to the latter, the 1.2 meters apart, really to allow safe movement. And of course, you can see the dormitory corridors not being uh, less than two meters wide um, uh, to, to facilitate quick evacuation of uh, in, in case there's any fire tragedy. Let's uh, just move on there and uh, just still talking about the dormitory design. Each dormitory must have multiple exits, including emergency exits that are clearly marked and accessible. Questions still abound, like I mentioned, about this particular dormitory. Did it have all these multiple exits and, of course, the emergency exit um, to make sure that children are safe in case there was any sort of tragedy like what we've witnessed? today. Now let's take a look at the list of major school fire events in the country. And of course we start with the first one, St. Kizito School. That was 1991 and it was a fire that was caused uh, by a protest and killed 19 girls, 19 students. Can you imagine that? The second one, Bombolulu Secondary School. That happened in 1998. That's a fire in Kuala County that claimed the lives of 26 girls. Another 26 girls from the 19 girls in 1991. Now we're talking about 1998, Bombolulu Secondary School uh, claiming the lives of 26 girls. Let's take a look at um, some other tragedies that shook the nation. Of course, we all remember this Kyanguli Secondary School. That was 2001. A dormitory fire. It was started by students during a protest and it resulted in the deaths of 67 boys. You remember that really shook the nation. It was a nation in mourning for such a long time. Just talking about the Changuli Secondary School back in 2001. Now coming back, of course, to uh, Enda Russia School. And uh, those are just this list of schools that really um, uh, have uh, gone through such a tragedy. Asumbi Girls Primary School, 2012, an electrical fault caused the deaths of eight students. Steph Joy Boys Secondary School, this is just very recently, uh, 2015, a fire in Limuru led to the deaths of two boys. Uh, those are just seven of the schools that already, like we've highlighted on our graphics, have gone through such major fire tragedies. Let's just continue there. And uh, just taking a look at the number. Now, number you know, uh, of other schools that have actually gone through uh, fire, uh, you know, tragedies in the past. Kaptama Secondary School, that was 2016, contributed to over 100 reported fire incidents during a period of increased school, uh, student uh, school protests. Uh, Mikinduri Girls Secondary School there added to the high number of school fires during that period of unrest. All right, just continuing to take a look at other schools. Uh, Garbatula, Garbatula Secondary School, that was 2016, affected by fire during the major unrest of 2016. Then the, 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 of course, uh, Bura Boys Secondary School, that was in 2016 still, and the school was impacted uh, during the surge of fire incidents uh, that year. That is a year that saw quite a number of schools going down, um, you know, through fire. And those are just some of the schools that were, you know, affected by student protests leading to school um, tragedies through fire. We have, of course, St. Pius uh, X Cemetery, um, which was uh, 2016 experienced a fire as part of the widespread fire issues in institutions. That was still during 2016, where there was a big unrest um, from schools, you know, countrywide. We also have Moi Girls School right here in Nairobi. 2017, a dormitory fire led to the deaths of 10 uh, students. That, of course, is another one that we vividly remember. Let's just continue taking a look at other schools. 
And this is Kangaroo School. 2018 fire incidents were reported through details. So this is about the casualties were actually scarce. So we don't really know the number of students who, you know, maybe were affected uh, by this particular school. Uh, Kibabi Secondary School, that was in 2019. A dormitory fire caused panic, but no deaths uh, were reported. As you can see, this is quite a number. This is a big list just talking about the schools that have gone through um, such time, such traumatized time. Buruburu Girls High School, this was very, very recently, as you know. Uh, that's it was 2021. A fire during protests led to injuries, but no deaths were reported. That is Buruburu Girls High School. Of course, taking a look at Kakamega High School, 2021, a fire raised concerns about safety protocols in schools. And all this, of course, made the government come up with, you know, stringent measures on how students in their dormitories can actually um, be safe while asleep or while doing, you know, their daily activities in school. Um, the question is really, are these safety measures really being followed, the multiple exits and all of that? Let's continue, of course, uh, with the latest one, the really, really sad tragedy that the country is mourning today. Uh, Hillside and Arasha Primary School. That, of course, was this morning a, fire, a dormitory fire in Neri County killed 17 students and seriously injured 13 others.